Hey everyone, so in today's video Excuse I'll... Excuse me, how do I edit Moody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey bro, how do I edit Moody for Instagram? Yeah, I'm just about... Anyway, so in today's video I'll show you how to create a very cool Moody edit for your photos. And with a few easy steps in Lightroom you can turn even a photo like this taken at midday in harsh sunlight conditions and turn it into a Moody looking image like this. So I've selected a few photos and as you can tell these photos are not very moody at the moment but with a few simple adjustments we're going to change all of that. So we want a bit of a darker image, we don't want it to be too bright and especially not in the highlights. And we're going to do that by dropping the exposure just slightly and then dropping the highlights and dropping the whites. So dropping the highlights and dropping the whites is going to make sure that we don't have any actual white in the image and that the highlights aren't too bright. Now let's up the shadows just a bit so that we can get some more detail back out of the darkest areas. And then let's counter that with dropping the blacks just a little bit so we don't lose too much contrast. I'm also just adding some actual contrast in there. Next let's try and create that faded look. If you look at moody images, usually they have this really nice fade, making the photo look a little less digital. And we can do that in the tone curve. So we're gonna add three points on the tone curve. And this area here on the tone curve is gonna adjust the brightest areas in the photo. And the bottom area here is gonna adjust the darkest areas in the photo. So we wanna pull this point up just a little bit and then drop that a little bit here and we're gonna do a similar thing on the other side up that point here and drop this point here so if we turn this off you can tell this has created a much softer look to the image making it a little less digital and this is what they call the classic S curve so you can adjust this curve and play around with it and really create your own style so next let's desaturate the colors in this photo a bit Generally a moody image doesn't have too many bright colors so we're gonna go for that desaturated look. And I want to do that here in the colors tab because here I can specifically choose which colors I want to desaturate. So in this image I want to desaturate the greens and the yellows that we can see in the grass. And then I actually want to saturate the oranges because this guy's fur here has a bit of orange and it'll make him stand out from the background just a little bit more. We want to get some blue tones in there because usually a colder image is a bit more moody. So in the shadows I'm just going to add some blues, a hue of 220 more or less, add some saturation and then drop the luminance a bit because that's going to add a bit more contrast and a bit more punch. Just make sure that the blending is set to 100 and then let's also add some blues to the highlights. But for the highlights I'm going to choose a bit more of a cyan color somewhere around 195. Also add some saturation and I'm going to leave the luminance at zero. Now I still want to get this image a bit more cold so I'm going to drop the temperature just a little bit which will also add some more blue. So if we look at the before and the after, you can tell that these four simple steps have really transformed this image and made it look a lot more moody. So now let's see if these four steps will work on other images as well. This photo for example was taken in the middle of the day on a very sunny day so not really any moody conditions going on here. But let's see if we can transform this photo. So again we're going to try and darken the image by dropping the exposure dropping the highlights and dropping the whites. Let's up the shadows for some details, drop the blacks for some contrast and add some more contrast. Then let's create that S curve again by adding three points to the curve, upping this side, downing it here, up the highlights and down here a bit. Let's desaturate some colors 
And you can tell there's a lot of blue here in the sky and we really don't want that. So I'm gonna start by desaturating the blues. I'm gonna desaturate the greens in all of these trees here and desaturate the yellows. They're also here in the trees. And then let's add our blue tones. Again, we're gonna go for a hue of about 220, add some saturation and drop the luminance for more contrast. Then make sure that the blending is to 100. And in the highlights, we're gonna add some cyan again, around 195, add some saturation. And I'm gonna go to the temperature again as well to drop that, make it a little bit more cold, something like that. Maybe just a little more shadows here and dropping the highlights a little bit more. Let's have a look at the before and the after. And you can tell that these four simple steps have also worked on this photo taken on a very sunny day. So you can tell that these four steps are working pretty well, but let's try it on one more image just to really put it to the test. So again, we have a photo that was taken in the middle of the day with quite a bit of bright sunlight. So let's just start with our four easy steps by dropping the exposure, dropping the highlights, dropping the whites, and then upping the shadows, dropping the black slightly, and a little bit of contrast. Next up, into the tone curve, we'll add our three points, up the darkest areas, a little bit more contrast in there, that's too much. Up the whites a little bit and drop them a little bit. Maybe that's just drop this one a tiny bit back. And then let's desaturate our colors. So we have some greens in the grass, some yellows in the grass, and some blue in the sky here. And let's add some blue tones again in our shadows, a hue of around 220. Add some saturation, drop the luminance for contrast and make sure the blending is set to 100. And same for the highlights, a bit of blues. Let's just go for 195 again, a bit of cyan, add some saturation. Now we're just gonna go back to the basic tab and also lower the temperature of this image a bit. Just like that. And I'm just gonna increase the shadows a little bit more. So let's have a look at the before and the after. And again, these four steps have completely transformed this image and made it look so much more moody. So you can tell that editing doesn't have to be super complicated. So even with these very easy steps, we've completely transformed these photos. Now don't get me wrong, there's so much more that you can do and that you should do in some cases, but I hope at least that these four steps can help you to achieve that moody edit look. If you like this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more editing content. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.